This question here it says, which of the following pairs of linear equations are consistent or inconsistent? We have these four pairs of linear equations. We have to find out whether they are consistent or inconsistent. We will find them out through the ratio method. And if at all they are found consistent, we have to find the solutions graphically. Means we have to plot them into the graph and see what is the solution for that equation. Let's find out which is consistent, which is inconsistent. So I'll write this x plus y minus 5 equals to 0 and 2x plus 2y minus 10 equals to 0. So a1 over a2 is 1 over 2, b1 over b2, 1 over 2, c1 over c2, 1 over 2. So all are equal a1 over a2 is equal to b1 over b2 is equal to c1 over c2. So this will give me consistent equations. I'll write consistent. This one here x minus y minus 8 equals to 0 3x minus 3y minus 16 equals to 0. So a1 over a2 1 over 3 b1 over b2, negative 1 over negative 3, which is 1 over 3. c1 over c2, which is negative 8 over negative 16, which is 1 over 2. So this is equal, this is not equal. So this gives me parallel lines means inconsistent. This one here, 2x plus y minus 6 equals to 0. 4x minus 2y minus 4 equals to 0. a1 over a2, 2 over 4 means 1 over 2. b1 over b2, 1 over 2, negative, which is not equal. So this will give me intersecting lines, means consistent. Let's look into this one. 2x minus 2y minus 2 equals to 0. 4x minus 4y minus 5 equals to 0. So a1 over a2, 1 over a1 over a2, 2 over 4 means 1 over 2. b1 over b2, negative 2 over negative 4 means 1 over 2. c1 over c2, negative 2 over negative 5, which is 2 over 5. So this is equal, this is not equal. This will give me parallel lines means inconsistent. Now, we found this one as consistent and this one as consistent. Let's plot both of them into the graph and get the solution. To put these equations into the graph, what we need is, this is x plus y is equal to 5. So y would be 5 minus x. That's my first equation. Second is 2x plus 2y equals to 10. Let's take 2 as common, so x plus y equals to 10, x plus y will be 10 over 2 which is 5, so y would be 5 minus x. Second equation, both the equations are same, so we know what the result is, this will give me coincident lines, means infinitely many solutions, x may take any value. Let's do the same thing with this equation also, this is 2x plus y is equal to 6, so y would be 6 minus 2x, that's the first equation. Second is 4x minus 2y equals to 4, let's take 2 as common, so this will be 2x minus y equals to 4, 2x minus y equals to 2, 4 over 2, so negative y would be 2 minus 2x, so y would be 2x minus 2. That's my second equation. Now let's put them into the graph. x plus y is equal to 5, x plus y is equal to 5, which gives me y is equal to 5 minus x, y is equal to 5 minus x. Let's take some x values. I'll start with 0. Uh, let's take till 5. These are my x values. Let's put them here to get y1. So from these x values, I have these y1. Can see the line and then let's plot the same x values into this same equation. These are my y2 values. Now you can see when I do not have these values here, 
I have this blue line here. The moment I get these Y2 also, the orange line comes over the blue line. Since these two lines are coincident lines, means superimposing each other, this equation, these two equations will have infinitely many solutions because both of them are same. This one here gave me coincident lines, means infinite many solutions. Let's take some x values here. These are my x values. Let's put these x values into this equation here and get y1. These are my y1 values from these x values. Let's replace these x values here from x in this equation. This one here, the orange one representing y2, blue one representing y1. Both the lines are cutting at this point, which is 2. x is 2 and y is also 2. Since they are intersecting lines, they will give me unique solution and the unique solution is point of intersection means coordinate 2, 2, x is 2, y is 2. This one here, intersecting lines and point of intersection was, I'll write point of intersection x, y was 2, 2 means x2 and y2. Solution is x is 2 and y is also 2. All done? Alright.